A big thank you to our sponsors over at TaxCalc for making this video possible. If you're not familiar with the brand, then you really should be. TaxCalc makes award-winning, professional, accounting, tax, practice management and communications products, and they are trusted by over 9,500 firms across the country, including mine. Check them out at taxcalc.com and I'll also pop a link in the description for you to give it a try. Now back to the video. So I keep getting asked how to set up a company in Dubai. Now it's important to point out that we only form free zone companies in Dubai in IFSA. This is the Dubai Silicon Oasis free zone. So anything in this video will be in relation to IFSA free zone companies. I F Z A. There are two types of companies that you can form in Dubai. There are free zone and mainland. So what's the difference between mainland and free zone companies and why does it matter? I'm going to tell you. Mainland companies are those that are registered with the government body of the particular emirate. The trade license for the company is issued by the Emirates Department of Economic Development, DED. Sadly, I can't help you form a mainland company. So let's move on to free zone companies. There have been loads of free zones formed in the UAE since the 1980s. They have their own laws and they are managed by their own regulatory authority. The main difference between them is that free zone companies can't do business in Dubai outside of the free zones without a third party. For example, if you sell shoes with a free zone company, you can't sell them direct to mainland customers. You would need to use a third party to deliver the shoes to the customers. Mainland companies can operate anywhere in the UAE. Now, it used to be the case that mainland companies weren't allowed to have 100% foreign ownership. Well, they can now, but only for select business activities. Free zone companies can have 100% foreign ownership and you don't even require a residency visa. Mainland companies must have a physical office space of a certain size. However, free zone companies do not require this and can work virtually. Setting up a mainland company involves lots more admin and approvals than a free zone company. All mainland companies require a financial audit, whereas not all free zone companies require this. IFSA, for example, they do not require their companies to have a financial audit, although one is recommended. As previously mentioned, you can have a free zone or a mainland company, but we can only assist with the setup of a free zone company in IFSA. If you choose to go ahead, we will discuss all of your requirements to ensure it is set up correctly. I'm sure you're wondering where to even start with this. So here's a timeline to help explain this further. This timeline includes getting a visa as well. So the first step is to get the company formed and obtain your trade license. And we can handle the entire process for this. Then IFSA will issue you your e-visa so that you can enter the country under this residency visa. You would then go to Dubai and bring your passport to IFSA to have your visa stamped and entered into your passport. You'll also need to arrange your Emirates ID and this is a completely separate process. We can assist you with this, so let us know if you require any help. You don't need to have a visa to set up an IFSA Dubai free zone company. You can do this entirely remotely from the UK or from another country. If you need to get a corporate bank account for your business, there are many options in the UAE, but a lot of them do require you to have an Emirates ID and a visa. Bank accounts for businesses can take a while to set up in Dubai, so it's useful to have a recommendation of someone that can help you. I hope that has been helpful, but any more questions, pop them below and I'll do my best to come back to you. See you soon.